It's a great honor to have this opportunity presented here. I am Dong Chan Lee, a neurosurgeon at Wilson Memorial Hospital. I'm going to explain about interlaminar endoscopy operation of this herniation at L5S1. My presentation covers operation room setting and managing endoscopic instruments. Bottom left corner. I have no financial relationships to commercial interests related to this presentation. I am going to describe specific equipment necessary for endoscopic. You should understand how basic setup in the OR is organized and identify the factors which improve patient and surgeon's comfort. I'll start with a brief in introduction. The, the in interlaminar window at L5S1 is usually the largest. Pocketing interlaminar endoscopic discectomy at L5S1 was first introduced in 2006 by Dr. Che. Dr. Che suggested two different approaches depending on the location on the disc herniation. Luiten and others reported the full endoscopic interlaminate compression with endoscopic drill. To get the point, I'll explain. Yeah. I'll explain the step-by-step -step process from preparation to uh, over setting. All endoscopes can be used in interlaminar discectomy. The smallest drill bore is 3 mm. As shown here, if the working channel is more than 3 mm, endoscopic surgery is possible. The spinal endoscope con connects, uh, connects with the irrigation line, light source, and camera. The range of the endoscope has an angle of 10 to 15 degrees. When you assemble the camera, light source, and irrigation line, it looks like this. This photo shows the difference in length between the working sheets, endoscope, and endoscopic grasping forcep. When you assemble the three together, it looks like this. To perform the decompression of the bone, you can use a shaver or a variety of endoscopic drill. You can use a hair and Elman to dissect soft tissue and control bleeding. You grasp Elman handle, the tip is bent upward. This photo shows imaging system. The imaging tower consists of HD screen, light source, and video processing. I usually use the continuous irrigation system. Initially, it is set to a flow of 0.25 milliliter per minute and a pressure of 15 millimeter mercury. If the vision is poor due to bleeding, the pressure can be increased to 25 millimeter mercury. Drill and RF generators are installed behind the operator. This is a nurse's table. Place dilator, working sheets, and dissector, carry punches, and loungers of various sizes on the table. 
All radio frequency proof and uh, endoscope drill are placed on the mayo stand. This photo is setting of remote control. The operation table is radio lucent and eccentric. Position the patient so that intra-abdominal pressure is not high. Endoscopic surgery is possible under general anesthesia, epidural anesthesia, or local anesthesia. I usually operate under epidural anesthesia. Epidural anesthesia provides excellent post-operative control and intraoperative feedback. You can also switch to open surgery. The operation field setting is shown in this picture. For the right-handed, it is easier to open, operate on the left side of the arm. For the left-handed, it is easier to operate on the right side of the arm. This photo shows left side approach in right-handed surgeon. This, these photos are the right surgeon's left approach taken from various directions. Once the anatomical structure is confirmed, you can operate without the CM as shown in the picture. First, the warming and pillows are used for patient comfort. It's important to relax your shoulders, such as frequent and prolonged endoscopy operation can cause shoulder pain. So one way to prevent that is to stand slightly higher up on the operation table. The second most important thing is the position of the monitor. It is important to set the monitor at the eye level and place it in front of the main standing direction. You grip the endoscope like this. The depth of the endoscope can be adjusted with between uh, with the thumb and index finger. The length of the endoscope has an angle of 10 to 12, 25 degrees. So the surgery is performed while turning the endoscope in the direction I want to operate. In conclusion, set setup is not complex and is, is possible in most operating rooms. Standard operation theater equipment and endoscope towers can be applied for starting endoscopy. The specific equipment necessary for endoscopic spine surgery are the endoscope and surgical instruments. Thank you for your attention.